Hello everyone, it's DC here and today I'm going to be telling you what I believe are the three best laptops on the market at the moment for ethical hacking. Crazy. Okay, jumping straight in, we're going to go through first uh, what things you absolutely need on an ethical hacking laptop. So number one on that list is at least 8 gig of RAM. Um, now I know you're probably thinking, oh 8 gig, that's not that much. And yeah, you're right, it's not. But we're, we're talking about the best ethical hacking laptops here, right? So I'm looking at anything with at least 8 gig of RAM, uh, around 16 is good. Um, but you know the more the better if you want to run a few VMs on that laptop um, You know things like that. You're gonna need more than 8 gig of RAM uh, next up is uh, My prerequisite was that it had to have an i7 uh, Preferably the uh, I wrote this down i7 HQ 7000 or the i7 8750H and I looked these two up because they have really good hashing um hashing value of it so like basically what I mean is that they can uh, crack hashes very quickly if you're relying on the uh, processor itself to crack a hash saying that though you could use any i5 but I'm talking about the best here so I wanted i7 primo i7 but the next prerequisite was uh, graphics cards I I sort of went a little bit loose on this because yeah it's a little bit hard to get in a laptop but any of the 10 whatever GTX series ones are really good um, they have a high amount of graphic memory and um, they're, they're just powerful cards they they're used in uh, like Bitcoin mining machines which are essentially just hash cracking machines and um, except obviously they use like heaps of them in those to do it really really quick but in a laptop you're gonna just need you know GTX 10 1060 or something like that would be good um, but you know not completely necessary because you can rely more on your uh, processor instead also some of the graphics cards have a little bit uh, of problems with things like Kali Linux um, or running Ubuntu or stuff like that. So I did keep that in mind as well because a lot of these laptops would be uh, flashed with like Windows removed and someone put Kali on them instead. If, if you didn't want to run with a uh, virtual machine that is. For storage, I was looking at only SSDs. I wasn't really interested in any um, hard drive storage because at the end of the day, you're not going to be using it for like everyday work right you're going to be wanting to use this as a ethical hacking machine and storage is not that big also there's these things called cloud storage now like Dropbox where you don't really need that much storage on your local machine itself um, or use an external hard drive to store stuff so I've only looked at SSDs 128 gig or higher and um, I'd, I'd say the perfect balance there is around 500 gig SSD. Uh, two things not performance related are battery life and the weight of the laptop. Uh, for me, I hate carrying around a heavy laptop. I want something under two kilos and I want it to last for around five to 10 hours. Um, that's the prerequisites that I put in on here. So without any further ado, let's jump straight in and get to the laptops. All right, laptop number three of my top three laptops. It is the Asus ROG Strix edition, um, the Scar edition, sorry. And um, yeah, I, I quite like this laptop. It's um, definitely the cheapest out of the three. And um, yeah, let's let's get into some specs here. So it has a Core i7 8750H, tick. It has 16 gig of RAM, tick. Uh, it has a GTX 1070 8 gig graphics card, massive tick, excellent card. 256 gig SSD, wonderful, a 17 inch screen, maybe a little bit big, but personal preference. I like the smaller laptops better. Uh, it weighs three kilos. Oh, damn, three kilos. That's a shame. And uh, 
Apparently, the battery life on this bad boy is one hour, up to five hours. <laughs> that is terrible. Um, so that's a, a huge cross. Now, bang for buck, this laptop is awesome. Um, but at the same time, if you're going to be paying this sort of money for a laptop, you want to you want it to last. You don't want one to five hours, right? So that that has brought it way down in the list. Um, and it, it only just made third place because of all of its other awesome specs. The battery life sucks though, and it weighs a ton. So if you were wanting to use this out in the field, it's gonna suck ass. It's gonna be terrible, right? Yeah, it, it's a shame that it's just, its battery life is so terrible, but I think it is, well, it is definitely because it is such a high performance machine, but for less money and, you know, no battery life, you could get a desktop computer. So why not do that? Laptop number two. It is the one, the only MacBook Pro 15 inch. Okay, straight into the specs of this thing. Uh, it has a 2.3 gigahertz, eight core, ninth generation Intel Core i9. Humongous tick, excellent processor. Uh, it's a Radeon Pro 560, four gig of uh, DDR4, or GDDR5. So yeah, pretty good, pretty fast, that's good. Uh, 16 gig of RAM, wonderful. 512 SSD. Yeah, you could probably spec that down a bit, to be honest, to save some money, which you might have to do with this expensive as hell machine. Uh, it's the 15 inch version, obviously. They've come with a Retina True Tone display, um, which is nice. Um, it's a pretty screen. Actually, I quite like the MacBooks. The weight is 1.83 kilos. Humongous tick. Excellent. It doesn't weigh a ton. Uh, battery life is apparently just under five hours stretching to 10 hours so it says it's it's like four hours and 50 minutes as a minimum and as a maximum around 10 hours uh while being used that is so yeah pretty good the battery life is going to be pretty good on your macbook pro 15 inch so why did this one come in at second place um unfortunately it didn't come first because of how much it costs uh, you would literally need to sell your left testicle to be able to afford this computer, but it does have excellent specs and um, it's Unix at the end of the day, so that makes life slightly easier. The processor, graphics card, memory, storage, battery, weight are, are pretty much perfect. They're right on point. Um, and really the only reason why this laptop didn't come first is because it is just so expensive. Um, I spec this one in Australian dollars and it was around four and a half thousand dollars, which is a lot of money considering the uh, Asus was like just two thousand dollars, just two thousand was, um, yeah, it's ridiculous how expensive the MacBook is, but hey. <laughs> so finally we have laptop Number one, what is the best ethical hacking laptop in 2019 in my point of view? It is the Lenovo X1 Carbon, of course. Uh, this one, it speaks for itself really. It's got lots of great reviews. Um, it has really good specs and it doesn't cost a huge amount of money. It is quite expensive. It was around uh, $2,500. So quite a bit of difference from the MacBook and it has fairly similar specs, which I'll, I'll just read out for you now. So CPU is an eighth gen uh, Intel Core i7-865, uh, the V Pro edition, which is pretty good. Comes with 16 gig of RAM. The graphics card is a uh, Intel 620, which is a little bit shit to be honest, but it's not the end of the world. Um, and that's probably where the price difference is in between these two laptops, but still, $1,500 difference is, is hectic. Uh, comes with a 256 gig SSD, but you can spec that up, of course. Um, it's a 14 inch screen, Dolby Vision, anti-glare, all the good shit, right? Nice screen. And the main reasons it won is because it is 2.5 pounds or 1.15 
kilos. It's light. It's super light. You can carry that all day, every day. And, and the battery lasts for up to, apparently, 15 hours. So minimum was around five hours as well. Um, so similar to the MacBook, but it goes up to 15 hours, supposedly. Um, which I find hard to believe. It's probably more like 10 hours, but that's all right. We'll, we'll go with 15. Um, and yeah, so before you start bitching at me and saying, oh, it's a Windows computer, you can't hack on Windows, blah, blah, blah. You can, um, and a lot of people do. Also, you can just install Kali on this bad boy and it's going to run like a dream. It's going to be great. Um, all the drivers are compatible. Uh, I've not seen any issues. A lot of people run Ubuntu on these machines for whatever reason. And um, yeah, they're just great machines. It, it came in at first place mainly because of the huge price difference between this and the MacBook Pro. Uh, the MacBook, I would say, is actually a better laptop, but on price point, this one is leaps and bounds ahead. Um, apart from that, its performance uh, scale is very similar to the MacBook. So at the end of the day, what are you going to spend your money on? You want to save 1500 bucks and, and get the Lenovo or you want to just go straight up balling and get the MacBook? Um, it's up to you, man. I, I use a MacBook, so yeah, do what you like, really. Anyway, thanks for watching this, guys and girls. Um, if you think I'm wrong about any of these things, please don't hesitate to call me out. Chuck me some comments below, uh, throw me a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe for more.